for this example. Now, in this example, we're looking into taking the cube root. So rather than trying to remember the cube root is saying what number multiplied by itself three times, right? That's what you're trying to find. So when we write out the prime factorization of the number, we can again, now we're going to be circling groups of threes. Well, there's only two factors, prime factors, that I have three sets of. And the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 is just 2. The square root, or the cube root of x times x times x is just x. Everything else, I don't have groups of 3, so I'm going to leave under my root. So I have 2 times 2, which is 4, x, y squared. And that would be your final answer. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we can also write this as terms that we can take the cube root of. And again, let's go back into this and let me show you. So if you're looking at cube numbers, what numbers can you take uh, the cube root of? Well, you can take the cube root of 8. The cube root of 8 is 2. You can take the cube root of 27. The cube root of 27 is 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. You can take the cube root of 64. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So if I can I rewrite 32 as a product of 8? Yes? Um, is that the root right there? Isn't that given? No. It, oh, huh? I, I thought it was eight. Yeah, it's a cube, it's a cube, cube root. So if I wrote this as 8 times 4, then I know I can only take the cube root of x cubed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as x cubed times x times y squared. And the reason why I wrote it like that, ladies and gentlemen, is because I know how to take the cube root of x cubed. The cube root of x cubed is just x. So as I mentioned, the cube root of 8 is 2. The cube root of x cubed is just going to be x. And then I'm left with 4xy squared. So you can use both methods depending on page if you understand which either one or not.